I was sitting in the locker room doing our warm up, man, and you just, after we get to talk with uh, Coach Fisher, you know, we walk out, we hit our sign, you know, the unconquer sign, uh, whatever it may be, our motto may be for that year, we hit the sign. You know, as soon as we step out the doors, it's, you can hear the chants and the war chants just going on, you know, it gets you hyped. And then we go and sit in the tunnel and wait for a minute, man. And it's just like a whole crowd of people, just a mob, just jumping around, ready to go, you know. And feeling is amazing, man, because when you break, break between that uh, banner, Man, it's just like you see all the people, all the noise, man. It gives you butterflies. I don't care how many times you do it, you still get butterflies, man. It's a great feeling. Man, it's it's amazing, man. I'm, I always tell this story. I tell the story like a thousand times. But my first year I went through it, I stopped. Like halfway through it, I almost got ran over because I was just like, oh, my God. Like I can't believe I'm actually doing it. this. Like, it's really an amazing experience. It's nothing like it. You know, it's, it's nothing like it. You know, and I come from a small town. I come from a town where, you know, football is everything. You know, it's either – you're doing the right thing playing ball or you're doing the wrong thing, you know, if you're not, you know, that's that's the way it is where I'm from when you're a teenager. So, you know, I feel like it means a little bit more to me than it means to a lot of people. So when I walk outside into that stadium and I see it's filled up and, you know, the, clam the camera's flickering and, you know, my teammates jump around, you know, on the inside, man, I'm going crazy on the inside. I'm just ready to hit somebody. I'm ready, to, you know, I'm ready to go, man. And, you know, I'm just ready. You know, that's that's all great, and you know, it's an exciting feeling. But you know, this year I want to approach differently coming out of that tunnel. I want to be more focused in for my team and these coaches, and you know, finally live up to this hype that FSU is really back. You know, I want to take it a different, different way this year. That moment for me is almost surreal, man. You know, it's a dream come true to you know play college football D1. You know, and just hear that band and all those all those people and, and dope. You know, it just it's a dream come true, but you know, for me, I enjoy the moment when it's time to run out of the tunnel. But when I'm done running out of the tunnel, that's it. You know, it's, it's I'm in my zone. I mean, it's, it's nothing like it. And you know, um, just, just walking out and having all the fans, you know, just standing there, standing over the gate, just to just to you know shake our hands. I know it. it it makes their day, and you know that's that that's that gives me a great feeling, and especially you know most of the time it's little kids, you know standing off on the side, you know uh, yelling your name, you know it, it means a lot to me, and it's it, it's added motivation even before, you know we run out out of the smoke, uh, you know um, hearing the band, you know playing. <laughs> Playing the music, all of it, all together. It's just, it's just an exciting thing, and you know, it's one of the one of the best feelings I've ever had. You know, it, it means a lot to me. You know, like I said, coming from where I come from, you know, I've been through a lot. You know, and then you know, never did I think when I was, you know, 13, 12, 11, you know, one day you're gonna be able to lead the Seminoles out the tunnel. You know, so so I'm just cherishing the moment, you know, just every time I get to be there and lead the team out, you know, I'm practicing on being a better leader and being there for my teammates. So, you know, whenever I get the opportunity, man, I just try to cherish the moment and enjoy it. <laughs> I think it's going to be pretty emotional for me, um, you know, just just being able to say that I, I came back, you know, from from a broken back pretty much. Um, it's going to be an emotional, emotional thing, but, you know, once – once it kicks off, I got to get in game mode, you know.